All right, class, so sorry. I didn't realize in the original video for section 1.3 that I hadn't worked through the example and uh, supply equals demand problem. So I'm gonna do that for you guys. So apologizing for the delay, but glad we are catching it now. So let's suppose the supply and demand for a quantity is given by these two equations where P stands for price and Q is the quantity. So I need to figure out the quantity that we're gonna be produced and um, the price at which we'll sell it, and that's when supply equals demand. So that's when these two lines are gonna intersect. So in order to do this, because I have two equations defined um, set equal to P, I'm gonna set both of these equal to each other. So I'm gonna take 0.0002Q plus two equals negative 0.0005Q plus 5.5. .5. Now what's really nice is I have an equation in a single variable, that variable being Q. So I'm gonna go ahead and solve for Q. First thing I wanna do is I wanna combine like terms. So I'm gonna add 0.0005Q to both sides. That means I have 0.0007Q plus two equals 5.5. .5. Now I need to get my constants together. So I'm gonna subtract two from both sides. 0.0007Q equals 3.5. Now to get Q all by itself, we want it to have a coefficient of one. So I'm gonna have to divide by 0.0007. That means Q equals 5,000. So that's the quantity of goods that are gonna be produced when supply equals demand. But now I need to calculate my price. In order to do that, I can substitute it back into either of my given equations, which is super convenient, but I'm gonna plug it into the first one because I don't wanna work with this negative. So I have P equals 0.0002Q plus two, and I now know what Q is. So I have P equals 0.0002, that's so many zeros, guys, times 5,000 plus two. Well, believe it or not, this could simplify down to one plus two, so a price is gonna be $3. So where supply equals demand is where our price is $3 and our uh, quantity we're gonna produce is 5,000.